Hi guys, welcome back, and today I'm gonna show you how to animate video in Titan Master. And I'm talking about bringing graphics, video elements, and pictures into the screen, and moving it around. You can make other cool effects, like tracking this like button onto my hand. And I'm gonna show you this at the end of the video. example this subscribe button and that reminds me make sure to hit that subscribe button if you like content like this and while you're down there you hit the like button this is gonna be pretty easy on kind master and the result is gonna be pretty nice just quickly today's shout out goes to gamer cop thank you so much for being supportive on my channel shout out to you and as always this person's link is going to be in the description down below so first, get your video elements, pictures, and graphics onto your phone. So whether if you have like subscribe buttons or like buttons, it's always better to have a green background behind them. But it's not always necessary. I think PNG files work as well. Now I'm gonna jump into Kind Master and show you how to do it. Of course, we're gonna open Kind Master and then click Create Project, 16 to 9. First, I'm gonna get a plain background, not a gaming clip actually, so you can see it better. Now we have the picture of the couch, we click check mark. Now we're going to quickly blur this image and make the entire picture blurry. Now we're going to add me with the green screen face cam. So we click layer, then media. And then we're going to get me in a face cam. Then I'm going to put myself in the corner. And then of course remove the green screen. And this is the cool part. Now we're going to animate some elements. So click layer, click media. And now look for the video, photo, or the element that you want to animate. Now I have this Instagram logo, for example, on green screen. So there it is. So we want to make it smaller, move it around the screen a little bit, and then same thing, remove all the green background. And click check mark. Now I have this Instagram logo right here. But now we want to make it animated. So first bring the timeline to the beginning, just like that. Now drag the Instagram logo out of the frame. And then on the left we have this little key sign, so you click that. And now under animation, hit that little circle with the plus sign. And now move the timeline to how fast you want it to appear. So let's say we want to it appear to five seconds. And now hold your finger on the screen where right where the screen ends and drag the Instagram logo in. And you're, right now on the bottom, it created a keyframe. And then we're gonna move it outside the screen in a different way. And we're gonna make the Instagram logo stay for a second or so. So we move through the timeline gently then click another keyframe with the plus sign and then drag it outside, but this time to the bottom. And then another keyframe was created. And now let's play it. Obviously you can make it faster, but this was just an example. And if you don't like a keyframe that you added, you can click the circle with the minus. I'm gonna make it quickly faster. Hey guys, welcome back, and today, you see guys, it was way faster. Now if you want to spin the element around the screen, you can do that too. So we click layer, then media, and let's choose this gaming clip for example. Now if you want this element to rotate a little bit, you click keying, then add a keyframe, move a little bit into the timeline, and rotate it slightly. Then move again, and rotate it. Then you can rotate it again and resize it, for example. And now let's play it. Don't worry, it's a little bit shaky. This is an iPhone 7. It's a little bit glitchy, but that's okay. Now same thing with the animated subscribe button. Click layer, then media, and click all. And now I'm gonna get the subscribe button. And now I got some subscribe button from a website and you can get it all over the internet. Obviously remove the green screen, that's the first thing. Then we're gonna position it whatever place we want. And since this is already animated, it's just gonna play animated. Hey guys, welcome back. And today guys, I'm gonna do another racing gameplay. You can make other cool effects like tracking this like button onto my hand. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Obviously, we have me waving my hand right now. And for this to work, you wanna pinch out your fingers as much as possible. AKA, zoom into your video so you can see in more detail. You see, right now, when I play it, it there's not much movement. Because it's pretty much going frame by frame. And that's what you want. Now we're gonna get the like button. 
So we click the layer, then media, click all, and now we're gonna get the like button. And here's the like button. Obviously, we're gonna make it a little smaller and put it kinda in front of my hand. Obviously, if I move my hand, the like button is gonna stay in place. But let's fix that. So mark the like button layer, then click keying, and click the plus sign. Then move the timeline very gently, and whenever your hand moves, you move the like button with it. This is a little bit long process, but at the end it's cool. And you see on the bottom, it's adding all these keyframes. And I'm gonna keep doing it, and I'll show you the effect in a second, because obviously this is gonna take forever. Let's export it. Here's the clip. Keep in mind, I skipped a couple of frames, but this is just to show you. You see, so the like button was moving with my hand together. If you like this video, I'm 100% sure you're gonna like this video because this is exactly how to copy yourself to the next level. Obviously in Kind Master. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button because I post videos like these every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!